think it's two words, it's world domination. <laughs> While the Olympian is half joking. It's like aggressive, but I, I would um, love to be world champion. She has her sights set high less than one week after placing seventh in her race at the Rio Summer Games. It takes a lot of work to just to get to that start line. So um, just to roll up to the Olympic start line and, and have the opportunity to race in that race, is in it, that in itself is incredible. Along with the race, her Olympic highlights include catching a men's beach volleyball game. Just to hear the noise of the crowd, I was like, whoa. Like that, that's something crazy. And of course, the closing ceremonies. To walk in with all the other athletes um, into that stadium is, is definitely a vivid memory that I'll take with me forever. Even as she heads to the World Cup Finals. I'm leaving on Monday, no rest for the weary. Then it's time for her off season. You need an average American day, <laughs> like every once in a while, you know? So like, you eat pizza. A welcomed break from her usual routine of eating, sleeping, and training. Being an Olympian is tough sometimes. It's not always glamorous. It's not always glamorous. You can't spend all that time focused training. You know, you need a you need a break from it. So I'm excited to get that. But soon she'll have to hit the ground rolling once again. I am definitely continuing, you know, continuing to ride and to continuing to race. You know, there's I feel like there's still so much for me to accomplish in the sport and I have a lot more goals, including an Olympic three peat. I want to give Tokyo a shot. Even though her official break hasn't started yet, there's always time for a good luck creamy. Your little maple friend. <laughs> They're really good. They're the best. In Jericho, Abby Isaacs. It's so good. NBC5 News.